Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this one I will show you how you can scan your documents and get a professional finish just by using your phone. So first I will go into my apps and I will go to the Google Play Store. I will type in Office Lens. As you can see I have searched for it already because this is the one that I have installed on my phone right now. There are many others that you could try but I like this one because it's very easy to use and it saves my documents for me automatically in PDF format. So once I select open, it will take me to a screen where I can take a photo of the document just like the one you're about to see now. So I have a document here on the table and once I open the app, it will take me to this screen. And as you can see, there is a red border around the document. What this does, it's showing me where is going to be scanned so it is up to you to position your phone in such a way to ensure you're capturing the entire document. So once you feel comfortable that the document is okay and you're seeing the entire document in the borders, within the borders, then you can go ahead and press that white circular button. So I'm just checking to make sure that the document is okay. And here we are, we have the document, it is now scanned. And as you can see, there is a white border around it. What you can do with this is, if you took the photo and it looked as if there was a part of the document missing or maybe you don't want any of the table in it, which you shouldn't because when you're scanning the document, all the persons would like to see is just the document itself. So you can use the edges of the border and just adjust it accordingly to ensure that you're only seeing the document, all right? Once you're comfortable with what the document looks like, you can go ahead and select confirm. If you were not, you would just select cancel and try to take the photo one more time. So looking at my document, I am happy with how it looks. So I will go ahead and select done. But before doing so, if I took the photo and it was for whatever reason upside down, I could also select rotate and just adjust it to my liking. Likewise, I could crop it or add a filter, but I don't need to because this is a professional document. So here, once I select confirm, it gives me the option to change the name of the document. So let's say, for example, this was a passport. I would just put passport and put my name afterwards so whoever I'm sending it to they can identify the document as mine. As you can see below the document was already automatically going to be saved as a PDF document so you can always double check to ensure that this is done and here you are you have your document saved and ready to share. Now, if I had a document that had several pages, like 2, 3, 4, 15, whatever the amount, whenever I'm scanning documents like this, obviously, when sending the document to someone, I would like to send all pages in one file only. So how I would do this is I would open the app just the same. I would take the document out, put it on a flat surface, and then I would open the app and take the photo as I did in the previous one. And as I said before, once you take the photo, you can always adjust the edges to ensure that you're only seeing the document itself. It is not necessary for you to leave the table or bed or whatever surface you put the document on. You can just edit it, crop it to ensure that you're only seeing the document as you're seeing here. Now I know that I have another page to take so I will click add. As you can see in the lower left hand corner I will click add and it will take me back to this screen. As you can see down below where you can see the photos I already have one page there so now I will take the photo of the second page and once I do that again it will add it to the other one so now I have two pages already scanned there you have it you see page one and page two and now this is page three that I will take a photo of again you want to just check to ensure that you can see the entire document within the borders I'm now going to scan page four just make sure it's all right and none of the 
document is not cut off, especially the bottom and the top, because I find that is often what happens with persons when they're scanning documents. So as you can see, all my pages are now scanned. It gives you the option to just quickly look through them to ensure that everything is okay, nothing is cut off. If for any reason you're not happy with one of the pages, you can always delete it and take the photo again. And once you do that, you can also rearrange the pages if you need it to. But when scanning, just always try to scan in the order received. So that is like page one, two, three, four, five, etc. Now it gives me the option once more to save my document. So let's call this one medical. And I will just put a random name. And as you can see, it is already going to be saved as a PDF document. But again, you can always double check, but it will do it automatically for you. So you save it and here you go. You have your documents ready and you can now share it however you wish. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.